Are you bored of gem rocks? Or do Guthixian caches make you regret making a group Iron Man? Then I've got just the thing for you. Welcome to a quick walkthrough on Dungeoneering Divcrafting. It is exactly how it sounds. We're going to be training Dungeoneering, Divination, and Crafting all at the same time. Now for requirements, there is only one. One hard requirement. You need to complete the Memorial to Guthix tutorial, which will get you level 10. And then you need to unlock this engram. Time Worn Memories gives you four times as much divination XP while in Daemonheim, which makes this method viable. Do not do this method without this engram. Also, if you are level 70, you can complete the first crest spot in the Hall of Memories, which will unlock a second passive for Memorial to Gethics, and that will be this engram, which gives you plus 30 seconds on your Divination Wisps, which is plus 50% XP. It's crazy. Besides that, there are no requirements. You only need 10 Divination and the first Engram to start this method. Everything else is optional. Obviously, the higher your total level is, the better this method is going to be, but you can do this right out of Lumbridge. Now, just so nobody accuses me of cherry-picking a floor, I am not even going to cut this video, except for, I guess, speeding it up at some points, but I'm going to make a new floor. I need to reset my prestige, or prestige, reset my progress, whatever it means. Uh, back to floor one. Normally, I wouldn't be doing large floors, but I need a frost dragon for the medium tasks. It is the last requirement that I need, so that's what I'll be doing. Now, first up, Ring of Kinship rolls. The most important are the gatherer roll and the artisan roll. Level these up equally. You do not need to spend a ton of tokens to level these up the whole way. Just one level of each is good enough. They're very cheap, you'll get it after the first couple of floors. What this does, the gatherer roll gives you a percent chance to gather duplicate resources. It won't give you bonus XP directly, but eventually it will, because you'll have more energy to convert into enhanced experience, basically just more resources, more XP. And the artisan gives you a chance to save resources while crafting. So level these up evenly. So let's go ahead and do a floor. First thing, while you're on the artisan roll, runecraft some nature runes if you have the level for high elk, that's 55 mage, and also some cosmic runes if you do not have the medium Daemonheim tasks done. Where are the frost dragons? Make some runes. This is so we can make the um, our own personal gate stone, and then let's get started. Oh, and after you craft the runes, make sure you switch back to the gatherer roll, because that's what we'll be doing. Gathering supplies. While we're clearing the dungeon, I'm going to be killing most NPCs. If they have a really high defense level and it's not a guardian door, I'm not going to kill them. But if they have a low defense, I'm going to kill them. The combat XP is not great, but we're here for the loot. Charms are some of the easiest way to make GP inside the Daemonheim floor, and more GP is more crafting XP. As far as gathering, I like to gather three tiers below my level. What I mean by that is I have 50 woodcutting, so I'll gather the tier 50 logs, the tier 40, and the tier 30. For fishing, I like to do four, because fishing is annoying, and, well, I do within four. Mining, you can skip. It's not good XP, and it's not good money. You usually use these to make pouches, but you can also buy the ore from the smuggler. For divination, typically I do also four tiers. Since I'm level 70, I do 70, 60, 50, 40. Sometimes I forget and I do 30, but you can be as picky as you want or as... What's the opposite of picky? Uh, yeah, you could do all of them, or you can do none of them. Your call. Go through the dungeon, kill the mobs, pick up the loot, gather the supplies, and do not finish the dungeon. That's pretty much the method. I'm going to go ahead and speed up this floor until we find our first Divination Wisp. That didn't take too long. Let me kill the mobs in this room here because I'm going to be spending a couple minutes in here and I don't want to be just taking free damage. Alright, now we're getting the Divination XP. Now, 
Normally when you click, you gather every four ticks. But if we two tick, meaning we click every time we see the XP drop, we get it on two ticks. So that's a lot faster. So that's what you want to make sure you're doing. You can see the difference if you click and if you don't. It's a significant jump in XP. So make sure you do that. And I'll speed this up because you don't need to watch me gathering divination wisps for three minutes. Okay, room is cleared, and that took, yeah, about three minutes. It's about 90 seconds per wisp if you have the upgrade, 60 seconds if you don't. So, that's the method. I am just going to speed through the rest of this dungeon because it's repeating the same process over and over again, and um, I'll just put it on four times speed, and uh, yeah, if you are confused, you can slow it down or ask me about it in the comments, but I'm just going to speed things up so you're not watching me do a dungeon for an hour.
I have finished the dungeon. Make sure you're not ending the dungeon because you've barely done any skilling. You still need to craft and you still need to get the real divination XP. So, home teleport, and now we're gonna get rid of our inventory. Get rid of all the junk. Sell everything or alk everything. Turn your charms into pouches, it's more GP. Sell your cooked food, sell your feathers, your runes, your rune essence, all of it. But keep logs, raw fish, and your divination stuff. We're almost done, and now we get to the best part, the divination XP. I'm just typing out the starting amount of XP I get. This should be probably about 100,000 XP this floor. And um, yeah, I'm going to take this time. I'm going to go get a drink. And uh, <laughs> this is so AFK that I actually managed to edit this video while doing this part of it. This is super AFK. Make sure you don't lobby because you might be spending 10 minutes. I don't know what the lobby timer is anymore without Premiere. I think it's 10 minutes. But just make sure you don't lobby because sometimes it kicks you out of the floor. And you don't want that. So I'm just going to speed this up because there's nothing to it. I just click and wait and get a whole bunch of divination XP. That took 12 minutes, by the way, 12 minutes of AFK div and the grand total 133,500 divination XP in one floor. And as you see in the chat, I just hit level 75, which makes this method 14% faster, because I'm now gathering 3 energy per memory instead of 2. So, this method gets better. We're down to the final few steps now. If you haven't already, you're going to cook your fish, and then after that, obviously sell the fish for more coins. Then, we're going to fletch our logs into staves. Staves are worth the most. If you care more about fletching XP, make traps instead, but that's less GP, so that's less crafting XP. Your call, just do something with your logs if you have the level, the fletching level for it. And just like with divination, we can also two tick fletching. Normally when you're crafting, I believe it's four ticks, maybe it's even five. But if you hold spacebar and click, and click every single time you see XP, just like with Div, it is significantly faster. So please do that. It speeds things up and makes it even more efficient, as if this method wasn't efficient enough. We've made it to the final step buy some thread, and then we're going to buy the cheapest hide, that is Proto Mastix. Again, double check to make sure you're on the Artisan Ring, because this is the only thing it matters for, but it is a significant uh, increase or saver. It's really, really good is what I mean to say. Make sure it's on, and now you're going to be crafting bodies. And when you have a full inventory, sell them, and buy more hides, and repeat until you run out of money, and then you can end the floor. I don't typically like to talk about XP rates because they're always hard to match, especially for DG skilling. There's a ton of RNG involved. Lots of it. Like this floor, I got 130k div XP and only 20k crafting XP. So I got a lot of div XP, not a lot of crafting XP. But I will say that outside of cash, before Hall of Memories, this is easily the best divination experience in the game. And for crafting, it's probably the third best behind gem rock mining. And if for some reason you already have Gate of Alindus unlocked, that is the best crafting XP for Iron Man that I'm aware of. But why this method is so good is because you're trading pretty much every skill in the game and it's really good div and it's good crafting XP Again, this all depends on the floor. If you can't find these XP rates every single floor, please don't yell at me. It's not my fault your floors suck and mine don't. That, that's it. This is the whole method. Please use this method if you hate caches or hate gem rocks, or you're looking for a weird and very tedious way of training any of these skills. That's also kind of fun. 
If you have any questions about the method, or any tips to make this even better, or even other weird ways of training multiple skills at once, let me know in the comments below. I'll get back to you. And um, drop a like, and you'll find your Frost Dragon faster. Thanks. Thanks for watching, and um, see you, I guess, when I make my next guide, or my next Ultimate Iron Man video, or maybe Group Iron Man video. I don't know. I'll be on YouTube eventually. Bye!